Hello there, everyone. It's me again, and I'm back from my trip from L.A. Um, I apologize in advance. I did not take as much video as I had hoped. I did take some videos um, that I might be posting with photos I took from D23 and other stuff. I also did a couple cosplay shoots with my sister as a photographer, so I will probably post those photos as well in a video. Just put those together, and if I got any good videos, I could probably maybe take one of her videos that she took. She took a lot of video. I took some as well at D23, and I can put those together with my pictures and stuff, but other than that, I didn't really take much video. I think most of what I took is at D23. Um, but I enjoyed it so much. I had a really good time. I'm so glad we got to go. There was some stuff I did not get to do that I wanted to, but that's fine. Because there was so much to do there. And only being there for a day, it's like... I can see why, you know, you have to go the full weekend. I mean, like... I mean, I go to cons full weekends, obviously, but like D23, it's more expensive, and so that's why we just went for one day, and maybe in the next two years, the next D23 will hopefully go the full weekend, so, you know, we've got time to plan for that and save up, but, you know, when we decided we wanted to go, it was, we didn't have that much time to plan and save for it, so we just went a day, but since hopefully I do want to go next time for the full weekend and I have more time to plan it out and stuff. And I don't know why I'm... I always do these weird hand things, gestures. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, this is not just a um, post-LA trip vlog. I might go into more detail and make a video just for the my post-LA trip. But while I was gone, one of my... Um, keychains arrived that I told you about for my bag. Um, I don't know where my other one is though. Apparently it hasn't come yet. I hope it does soon. I don't know, but this is the only one that showed up when I was gone. So I'm sure it'll be here soon though and I will make a video when I get that one, but I've got a video with this one now. So Let's find out which one it is. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's the smaller one because the small, small package. But I'm not 100% sure. But let's find out. Shall we? Hopefully I don't need scissors because I don't want to grab them. Okay. I don't know where they are. Wait, can I? Okay. There we go. And it's the tiny one, but it's more solid than I imagined. Is there anything else in here? No. Okay. But it's the super tiny one. I thought it was going to be smaller, actually, but it ended up not being smaller. Okay, where is the... Okay. I got this, I think. I would, oh, there we go. Okay. Aww, isn't he cute? He's so cute. There's like, hmm. I don't know. He's so cute. I thought he was gonna be like tiny though. Like really tiny, because it looked really tiny in the picture, but it's a bit bigger than I thought, but that's always a good thing, I guess. But it's so cute. There's like a little scratch right there on him. I don't know if you can tell. But, I mean, other than that, he's fine. I'll just have to be super careful with him. He is going to go in a bag with clear protection. Or clear protection. So, yeah. He'll be safe in my bag so he won't break or anything. It's, he's like a plastic, not like, um, like the material that he, this is made from. It's not like that hard plastic that can break easily. It feels like it's more like, 
a plastic that doesn't break easily, so that's good. That means he won't, you know, break too easily, so. But he turned out really cute. So, that's three out of four. Um, I have two right here. I actually, um, used this bag for D23. I switched out Chuya stuff and just put, um, my Disney and Totoro keychains in here. And Disney pins. Speaking of, I did buy more Disney pins at D23. So I can show you those. Hang on. Totoro stuck to the clear stuff. So I will unstick him from that. Okay. So the key, or the keychains. The pins I got from D23 are this stitch zoom pin right here. Isn't it cute? And I got three pins in total. So I got this black and white Oswald pin. As you can see, he's not colored in like other Oswald pins, which I think is pretty cool. So I decided to get that one because, oh, that one's different. You know, he's black and white and not colored like the other Oswald pins that I have. And I also got an Oswald Zoom pin. So that's that. And I love my pins and I love collecting them. And... I really would love to make a bag just full of Disney pins. Um, yes, I did use this one with Disney stuff in it. Um, like I said, this bag isn't mainly going to be two yet. It's going to be like, I'll switch it out with other stuff. I'll just like keep things on these clear um, folder thingies. Like you put in your binder because I have a bunch of them. And I'll just keep like pins and stuff on them and just like switch them out which would be super easy. Just slide it in, bam, you're done. So, yeah, but I'm in love with my pins and my Oswald pins. They did have the Oswald panel for the 90th anniversary about um, the book. And unfortunately, that was sold out and I couldn't get the book. But I'm glad I got to go to the panel because it was amazing. They showed a bunch of, like, old cartoons of him. And I adored it so much. Um, and they even gave out a free Oswald bookmark. I don't think I have it on me. Wait, I might be in this bag. Here we go. This is the Oswald bookmark that they gave out at the panel. And I'm so thankful that they did that. Um, but yeah, the author of the book is David A. Bossert. I don't know if you can see the name. I can always put it in the description if anyone wants to... You know, and I can put his information, like his website and everything, in the description if you want to go check his website out. But he's a super cool guy who basically just dug out old Oswald treasures. And, you know, without him, I don't think we'd know as much about him as we do now. So eventually I hope to get that book because I really want to read it. And I love Oswald so much, and I'm so glad I got to celebrate his 90th anniversary, right? So, I'm super happy I got to do that. Um, I adore Oswald so much. And I'm just so happy with D23. It was amazing and everything. Sorry, my cat's trying to get into my bag. Okay, so, I know I seem to, like, talk about D23 a lot, and this is just a random video with a bunch of stuff. I might make a D23 vlog. I don't know yet since I kind of talked about it now and I showed my pins and stuff, but I do want to talk about panels more though in another video because, oh my god, I went to two panels and I will talk about those probably in another video. I might just record it after this so I don't forget. So, um, but yeah, this is so cute. <coughs> And I hope my other one shows up because it's adorable and I'm like wondering where the hell it is. So, anyways. Um, I'll probably look for more Chuya stuff at Stockton Con and then Sack Anime, of course, for my bag. I really hope to have more stuff by Sack Anime because, you know, I'm going to be wearing Chuya and I want to have my Chuya bag with on me, you know. 
just because, yeah. Anyways, so that's it for this video. I'm going to go make my post Disney D23 vlog in a minute, so bye for now.